guys what is up it's Shanice welcome or welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a fun exciting video for you guys it is a review on two different hair dryers slash diffusers I got a more affordable hair dryer as well as a more expensive and pricey one that I wanted to compare for you guys and also honestly for myself because fall and winter is here it is brick outside at least in Toronto it is and I usually wear my hair in a wash and go state 90% of the time and I air dry and I usually go outside in the freezing cold weather and that is definitely not good for you because you can get sick and all of that so I have been on the hunt for a new diffuser and if you have been following my hair journey for a very long time you guys would know that I literally cut diffusers out of my regimen because my hair would literally turn into like a big poof ball like frizzy afro and it was just pointless and I would have to do my whole entire curly hair routine again so I literally just cut them out I'm just like diffusers are not for me it's just not gonna work out but I was actually able to revisit using a diffuser because Dyson actually sent me over their hair dryer and I I actually really like it and this video is not sponsored everything that I say here is gonna be my opinion but I do want to compare it to this hair dryer that I have here to see if it really is worth it but anyways let's just get started and see what go on with these hair dryers and see which one is gonna be better okay so these are my two hair dryers right here this is the Dyson supersonic which I'll get into a little bit later and this one is the Remington let me look this is the Remington Damage Protection D3 190 hair dryer and of course I got the diffuser nozzle to go with it. It retails for about $20 and I got this from Walmart. So its highlights are Ionic Ceramic Tourmaline Technology dries hair faster with less frizz, micro conditioners for less hair damage, it has 3 heat plus 2 speed settings and a cool shot. So that is this. So this is the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer with the diffuser nozzle as well. And it says it's engineered to disperse air evenly around each of your curls, simulates natural drying to help reduce frizz and improve definition. And this also has three heat and speed settings as well as a cool shot. So y'all, this is my hair, it is still pretty wet. I don't like to diffuse as soon as I apply the products and my hair is like soaking, soaking wet. My hair really needs to kind of form into the curl because if I do it too early, it's just gonna frizz up. And I did actually learn that. So if you're actually struggling with frizz and you know diffusing, definitely try this method, it may help you. So anyway, this side we are gonna diffuse with the Dyson Supersonic and this side we are gonna diffuse with the Remington and see what happens. I'm not sure stupid fly <laughs> I'm not sure what's gonna happen but we gonna see we gonna learn today so I usually put mine on high speed and low heat and then occasionally throughout the process I will be um, using the cool shot button so I'm gonna do the same for both um, hair dryers <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished using the Dyson. My hair is about 90% dry, honestly. And that took me about 15 minutes or less to do so. I didn't time it, but around 15 minutes or less, which I'm very, very surprised by. It literally dried my hair super freaking fast. And y'all, there is barely any frizz. Barely any frizz still a lot a lot of definition and you guys know I have frizzy hair already so super freaking impressed like look at the ends of my hair as well look at those ends honey okay so now I'm gonna use the Remington diffuser on high speed and low heat 
and with the occasional cool shot. Okay guys, so I just finished with the Remington side. My hair is still wet and it's been over 30 minutes. I just could not do it any longer. I was getting tired, I was getting bored. Like time is of the essence for me and I just couldn't spend more than 30 minutes drying one side of my hair. Imagine I was doing my whole entire head. That would be almost, who knows, probably like over an hour of drying time. And no, I just couldn't do it, I'm sorry. So I want to show you guys my hair on this side. So it doesn't look bad at all. Um, there is I feel like a little bit more frizz going on and that's probably because I had to do more manipulation compared to you know the other hair dryer I don't know if you guys can see it like right over here it's a little bit frizzy and this side has a little bit more um, shape to it there's more volume to it this one it feels a little bit limp and obviously that could be because my hair is still wet but it just feels different this one feels more fluffy and bouncy, and this one's just super limp for some reason. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna do an upside down blow dry on both sides. And maybe this will help you guys see it a little bit better. So remember, this is the Dyson side and this side is the Remington side. Do you guys see a difference? Cause I do. Okay guys, so I just flipped over my head and I used both of the dryers on either side. And as you can see, there is a big, huge, there's a, there's a huge difference, okay? That just literally sealed the deal for me. This side is the Remington, literally spent another 15 minutes blow drying upside down. And it's still really wet, it's very limp. Um, and it's frizzy, it's really getting frizzy now. This is exactly why I did not like using diffusers in the first place. This side, my shape is really coming into life. Like the cut that I got, it's coming to life. It's very lightweight, I can shake it and it just looks better. There's not a lot of frizz going on and I just really like how my curls look on this side versus this side. Like look how flat this is, look how flat this is and look at this side. Anyways, to wrap up my final thoughts about both of these dryers, should you spend your Shacoin on this $400 dryer or just spend 20 bucks on this dryer right here? So first of all, this dryer, I think it's okay. I think if you just want like a blow dry, it's gonna be fine. But if you are trying to define your curl, you know, time is of the essence and you're trying to um, dry your curls in a certain amount of time this is not gonna be it for you I don't even think it's worth the $20 you are gonna spend hours trying to dry your hair especially if your hair is like mine's where it just takes forever to dry once product product is in it and then since you're spending so much time diffusing your hair you're just manipulating it so much that you are going to get frizz and that was inevitable for me right here. I have a lot of frizz going on at the very top of my head and it's not really what you want on first day hair. I, I won't say that I did a horrible job. I think my curls still do look pretty good, especially over here, but it's just not ideal for me. And another note I wanted to make was that on the very low heat and high speed, this is still very cool. So it kind of felt like a, like 
kind of felt like a cool shot of air so if you do like that then you might think this is a great blow dryer for you but I needed a little bit more heat in order for my hair to dry so I did end up going I did end up going to the second heat dial but nope <laughs> didn't work out for me okay so this bad mama jama right here $400 gosh lot honestly if I did not have the money for it I would not get it I would not spend my money personally on a dryer like this so if they didn't send this to me but I actually got like a trial run at using it I would definitely go out and buy it me as a person now because I can't afford it I you know it's not I'm not gonna take anything away from myself if I spend my money on it but me a few years ago hell to the not I think it is really 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 good cuts down my drying time so quick and I get really really great results you guys don't even understand like sometimes I'll wash my hair and I want to film a video that day but I can't film a video that day because I have to wait till my hair air dries and my hair takes like a day to air dry and literally I waste the whole day just waiting for my hair to dry so this for me is a game changer because I can literally wash my hair do my hair diffuse my hair and then I can film a video and time is money at the end of the day so for me time is of the essence and this is totally worth it because of the results because of the time factor and yeah I really like this I really really like it it is totally worth it to me but only if you have the money and you can afford it I forgot to mention that this does get hot really really fast like the first heat setting on this is already super hot um, at least to me so keep in mind that as well so I can't imagine going all the way up to the last heat setting because this is this runs super super hot okay it's um, fire so yeah that is my review of a $20 hair dryer versus a $400 hair dryer let me know what you guys think in the comment section below my hair says it all right here but you guys can be the judge of that so I will see you guys all in the next video don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you did enjoy and I'll see you guys all later love y'all deuces